My name is Fiona Murphy and I'm from Dublin in Ireland. I started singing at a very early age in the church choir in my hometown in Lucan, County Dublin. And um, I come from not so much a musical family, uh, but my mother is quite musical and has a lovely voice. I suppose the first performance I really remember is as, uh, as young as I was and as insignificant as it was, was singing the solo in mass, uh, the 10 o'clock children's mass when I was about 10 or 11. I was getting work with the opera companies at home in Ireland, even while still at university. And um, so I decided to take it more seriously and go uh, abroad and study. I auditioned for the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia and was successful and went to study there. After the Curtis Institute, I went to Houston for three years to take part at their studio program at Houston Grand Opera, which was a wonderful opportunity because you get to work with and meet great guest conductors, world-class singers. One of the highlights of being at Houston actually was that I got to sing in their gala performance celebrating 50 years of the company with singers like Bryn Terfel, Friedrich von Stade, Joyce Di Donato, um, Renee Fleming. To bow at the end of the evening with all of these amazing singers and even Elton John was such a treat. While I was in Houston, the casting director of English National Opera heard me there and invited me to come and cover Carmen and sing Mercedes in their brand new production of Carmen at the Coliseum um, under the baton of Edward Gardner. And it was great responsibility, obviously, to cover. But um, it turned out even better when I got to go on for four shows in the run. So I really got the opportunity to sing Carmen in London. It was fantastic. Having sung mezzo professionally for so long, I slowly but surely knew that the voice was getting higher. Um, I've always sung high lyric mezzo soprano roles, uh, but the ordinary thing would be for, or the more normal thing would be for the voice to go lower, for um, a, a soprano to turn into a mezzo soprano. But the top of my voice was always easier than it really should have been for a mezzo, and the core of the voice started shifting higher too. It was much more the, the more interesting part of my voice. So there came a time where I just decided I have to address this now. And as soon as I started exploring it, I knew I was a soprano. It was a very gradual process. I was never singing very low mezzo-soprano roles anyway, roles such as Anio, Fox in Vixen, um, Zerlina, uh, Valenciennes. They were all roles I found quite easy and really enjoyable because they were obviously higher roles. And so it was something I just had to address. I 
I took out Mozart roles initially and uh, started looking at the likes of Countess and Susanna uh, as opposed to Carabino and um, realized that this I definitely ha had to have been a soprano. They felt much more comfortable than other roles. Singing Elvira and Don Giovanni, for example, became much more comfortable than singing Zerlina even. So then I started looking at different genres of music that I hadn't sung before, like uh, Musetta and Mimi in Bohème. I've never, obviously as a mezzo, I've never sung Puccini. And uh, I just realized that these were, they were had, I had a great affinity to them, even character-wise. So um, it felt very comfortable. Und bin ich auch von Singing something like Musetta now is so exciting because, um, well, first of all, it's a, a female role. I was so used to singing trouser roles. It's great to sing, to, to look glamorous for a change. There's so many more facets to the character. She's much more coquettish than anything I've done before. Um, and plus the music of Bohème is so beautiful. No one ever tires of Bohème. It was an opera I always loved, even though I never thought I'd get a chance to be a part of it. And uh, who knows, maybe there's Mimi there someday. Yeah.